Hello there, Darren Steen here from FatLossLifestyle.com, your 45-year-old drug-free for life, healthy lifestyle coach, bringing to you today your no equipment needed body weight muscle building exercises. And please, women, don't be afraid because I'm here to tell you that your best fat burning friend that you'll ever have is building more muscle. Your, your, your limbs and your arms and your buns and your legs will not get bigger. They'll actually become smaller and more toned and more tight. And that's exactly what you want. So do not turn this muscle building body weight exercise routine off. I'm coming out with a product called Simple Fitness Exercise Made Easy. It's going to be a $47 product. This is going to be the start of it, but this is for free for you. And I'm telling you what, right now, this is going to streamline your exercise routine with no equipment needed. So let's get right into it. We're going to focus on three body parts, your chest, your back, and your legs. Those are your three hot spots. That's the most, most muscle mass that you have. So I got three different exercises. I'm sorry, six, two for each body part. We're going to start with the chest first. We're right here. All right, we're going to get you down on the floor. We're going to do a push-up. All right, but these are unique push-ups, all right? These are called dive bomber push-ups. They work the chest, the core, the lower back in a much different way. So we're going to get you up here, and it's just like it sounds. I want the buns nice and high. Drive your sternum, your chin down to the floor. Ah, once your sternum touches the floor, ah, you come up and lock your arms stiff and pause for a two count. Now you take your sternum back down on the floor, and then drive. Now it's chest. Ah, push that tailbone straight up. So dive bomb down, ah, lock those arms stiff. You're going to feel that lower back uh, flex out and sort of uh, relax. T sternum down, ah, I'll do two more in a row, ah, lock the arms stiff, ah, it's all chest right there. There's your dive bomb push-ups. Those are a little advanced, but I think just about everyone can eke out three or four good ones. All right, come right over here. We're going to go from chest to back. So come on right over here. We're going to do body weight rows, all right? This is a bar that just happens to be here, but this could be the ledge of a table. Just look around the office and find the ledge or the edge of something that's stable. You don't want it uh, moving on you. You don't want to pull the table over and have drop something on top of you. But wherever you can find a ledge about three and a half feet off the floor, you're going to get your sternum right underneath the ledge of the table, palms to the rear, drive your tailbone up, squeeze the buns and the hamstrings on the back, and this is a row movement for that upper back. Drive your sternum up towards the edge of the table, arms straighten out, two, and one, pause for two seconds at the top, two, and one. Now it's a little bit of a challenging exercise for you. If you need to just do two or three reps like that, set your body weight down, shake your arms out, recover for about five to ten seconds, and then hips up first, big breath in, ah, I'll do five, ah, and four, ah, and three, and two, and one, ah, nice and slow. Next time you come around and do another set, vary up the grip. Um, you can go narrow grip like this. If it's the ledge of a table, you have to keep the palms towards the rear for obvious reasons. But if it's a bar or some kind of uh, something like this, try to go palms forward to give the back a, a different type of feeling. I should stop right there and say that our repetition range, if you're able to do a lot of repetitions, we're going to go nice and slow, put the mind in the muscle and squeeze, and we want to try to get to the point where we can't do anymore around 12 to 15 repetitions. That's our ideal uh, repetition range. Now if we're really challenged on something like this, you can only get two or three good quality form is more important than getting 12 to 13 reps fast. So just do little three or four little mini sets of three or four reps to, so that everything stays safe and effective. So that's our second exercise, body weight rows on the edge of a table. You don't need any equipment for this. That's the whole idea behind this body weight muscle building program. All right, number three, I'm going to uh, step right here. And I'm going to show you a couple different squat techniques that are fantastic. All right, I'm going to show you first the Hindu squat. Traditional Hindu squat is stand nice and tall. And traditional squats, you squat down like this, and the weight goes through the heel, and then you drive up to hit the quads right here. But in a Hindu squat and the uh, other exercise that I'm going to show you, the sissy squat, we go hips forward, 
ball, weight on the balls of the toes. Take the fingertips straight down on the floor. Bah. Come right back up. Bah. So we thrust our knees forward. The weight goes on the balls of the toe and the heels come off the floor. Bah. Sort of like Michael Jackson. Woo! All right. So this is a Hindu squat. Breathing in. Bah. It's a little hard at first with the balance. But you can get it good uh, after, after a little uh, trial. 30, 40 repetitions is a really nice rep range on those after you get your balance and stability. To take it one step further and uh, uh, get a little bit of a variety, not one step further, but just get some difference, is bodybuilders know about an exercise called the sissy squat. Grab something for balance, push your knees and hips way out, and same technique as the sissy squat, but you can come farther out because and go slower, which puts more tension on the quad. So down. Take this fingertip and go straight down through the floor, right by your ball of your toe. Bah, breathing in. Bah. I like feet together, knees together. Breathing in. Bah. Weight on the balls of the toes, try to get your hips and knees as far as possible. Bah. So there you go. There's two different techniques of unbelievable effective squat techniques that are different that you don't need any weight to to feel the warmth all over on the quads, the hamstrings, and the buns. So that's our Hindu squat and that's our sissy squat. So what you need to do is you need to move fast pace. You do one set of the Hindu push-ups, then you go do the body weight rows, and then you do the sissy squats or the Hindu squat. Pick one. And then you come back and you do the second set of your dive bomber push-ups, your second set of your uh, body weight rows, and your second set of your squat technique. Use the opposite squat technique that you did the first time. Vary between the Hindu squats and the sissy squats where you're leaning back farther and you're going down slow and you're using something to hold on to. So I want you to come right over here. That's our, that's our first half of our body weight muscle building exercise routine for you that you can do anywhere in your office or home with no equipment. And I want Cordy over here, my cameraman, just to show you guys. You can work out until you're blue in the face, but what you, you gotta master what you're putting in the pie hole, folks. And my point is you gotta drink more water you got to drink, eat more foods that rot if uh, uh, it's not processed. If it rots, it's good for you. If it's made in a plant, stay away from it. If it comes from a plant, eat it. I got carrot sticks here. I got an apple half eaten. I got water. I got a little bit of whey protein. Um, I'm eating every three hours, and I can teach you, and you need to uh, eat small meals often every three hours with a quality protein, a fish, a chicken, a tuna, um, eggs, lean beef and a, a fibrous vegetable type carb salad, uh, broccoli, the more colorful the better. Apples fit right in there really well. Really small amount. Every three hours you got to eat something, you got to feed the machine to boost your metabolism. So here's a little tip. If you're at the office, put your food out on the corner of the table. Uh, if you're at home, put it out where you're seeing it. It's going to remind you as you're busy and you're walking by that I need to eat that the next three hours. Eating small meals often will keep you from overeating. It's going to keep the body saying that starvation is not coming and I'm going, to keep, I'm going to burn a lot of fat off a lot faster. So uh, it's an integral part. It's not that hard. You don't need to go out and hire uh, a nutritionist that got five years of education that teaches diabetics how to eat. They, uh, you don't need to do that. This is common sense stuff uh, that we can teach in a few videos. Uh, it's as simple as that. But everyone, a lot of people know they need to do this, but they don't do it. Uh, little tips like this of keeping your food out so that you can see it, so that you're visually aware of that food being there and uh, that's uh, when you go by in two hours even if you're busy with working phone calls and emails and texts you're gonna see it and you're gonna be able to drink that whey protein eat a couple carrots eat half that apple uh, on the way to the restroom or on the way to a meeting so there you go there's the first half of our body weight muscle building exercise routine keep an eye open for our simple fitness exercises made easy uh, we'll let you know about that but you don't need that product because this right here is gonna help you out a lot uh, as far as how to build muscle through body weight exercises. Until next time, Darren Steen from FatLossLifestyle.com. Thank you very much. You do have the power to change. Make it happen.